Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin here from C4D Tuts or Cinema 4D Tuts, whatever we want to say. And uh, I'm doing another tutorial really quick. Um, this one will be uh, another beginner's tutorial. The advanced tutorials will start soon. I just need to get all of this, the basics done first. Um, Alright, this one's going to be how to use uh, advan or advanced and like basically it's how to use materials, not advanced, but alright. So you can really just do anything, just make a square or whatever you want to make. It's just to show you guys how to do it. And you double click to make a material. And this is how you customize your own. Um, you just, you know, can change the color. It's a really basic. Um, and for every uh, material, or not every material, but for the majority of the materials that I use, um, I usually use reflection. I usually put my reflection at about... 20%. I think that's just how you make really good looking uh, materials most of the time. And then of course you have to add lights and all of that um, to make it look even better. But um, So usually I just do, uh, I just keep everything the same. I change the color of course. And uh, just up the reflection. That's when I create my own materials. But a lot of the times I use preset materials. And the way you use those is you go to file right here and load material presets and there is so many materials that you can use I I love using these um, it's really easy to use like if you need something wooden there's wooden you can just go into like architecture materials wood and there's a thousand different kinds of wood and um, yeah so there's tons of materials that you can use that are already pre-made um, the pre-made ones are really nice they're good high quality materials um, yeah so that's how you use the presets. Um, just file, load material, preset, and you just pick whatever. You can just go through those, mess around with those, and that's how you do that. Um, and then there's also another thing you can do is uh, you can load a texture. Um, basically, you just load a like a JPEG image, and that's how you uh, how you use like a customizable texture or whatever you want to say. Um, so let me just get something really quick. Uh, let's see, pictures. All right, it doesn't really matter what it is. I'll use this really quick. All right, um, and then you apply it to it and you have whatever the image is. I just grabbed this text that I used. So that's how you can do that. You can do that with anything. You can you can set a background with that as well. You can, you can do anything really. Um, yeah, so that's how you use uh, preset materials. Um, that's how you use custom materials, and that's also how you uh, create your own with uh, uploading textures or whatever. So um, that was just a quick tutorial. I hope that helped, guys. Um, I'll probably do a speed art or something tomorrow since it's Saturday. Don't have any plans right as of now. So um, just let me know what you guys want to see next and leave requests and thumbs up, favorite, and comment, please. Peace.